today and Friday, um, we'll be looking at the poetry of Walt Whitman. We're including Walt Whitman because we'll be going later in March to see Paul Taylor Dance Company at Lincoln Center and see a, a, a dance that Paul Taylor choreographed based on the life and poetry of Walt Whitman. I like the fact that we read the text in class and then actually saw something live. How could I appreciate them like that if I don't know how to read it? I think everything about it, it was really well connected and I really enjoyed seeing it come to life. My feeling was if we could connect humanity's uh, activity, in this case looking at great literature, with the performing art of dance, we could create a little uh, incubator pilot project that we might be able to extend much broader across campus. Right, it was a natural for us because our students all read great books, great poetry, and we had a, a unit on uh, for our great literature course that all our students take on great mid-19th century American literature that involved Whitman and Melville. And our students all go to cultural events every semester. This was a chance to bring these two separate elements of the program together in a coordinated and thoughtful way. Nothing is finer than silent defiance. In this one phrase, it's really, it's kind of a subversive line there, but it's really what he's doing in his poetry about the people and the leaders, like the line that struck me, we're the only one where the president tips his hat to the people and not them to him. Nice to see that he recognized that simplicity is also beautiful, aside from you know all the symbolism and representations and things like that. And he calls that art. He says, uh, he says that the art um, of art, the glory of expression, is simplicity. As I read through this, I can see why it was so attractive to a choreographer to think, you know, all the things you could do with people and their bodies, right? The movement doesn't necessarily mean something, but it can. It can imply. And this is the big thing with dance, and this gets back to what am I looking at? What should I be seeing? What you should be seeing is what you see. You should just be responding to what you see, right? To, to the bodies on stage. If there's a story, it can be implied. If you could say it with words, well, you'd write a play. talk a little bit about what you just saw, a little bit about what you're going to see, and see if you have any questions. Oh, was there any part that you felt was more Whitman and was more Paul and how that, or more you even? It was all, it's all Paul. It's not Whitman. It is all Paul. Paul this is Paul's right. interpretation of what he got from reading Whitman and what he got from researching Whitman's life. And so this is Paul reacting to Whitman and Whitman's art and Whitman's life. I just think it um, uh, something that was a project felt so little like a project and so much just like fun for everybody. And it's the kind of experience that will be remembered and resonate with the students and everybody involved forever. Taylor spoils the eye and it's it's much more about the, the aesthetic and there's something always to look at. There's always, coming from a photographic background, there's always some sort of line leading you to some point on the stage to look and even in all the chaos and disarray of certain scenes there's always something and it, it turns into one big composition. Uh, as someone who doesn't actually see much dance it felt like a, a really interesting experience that like I was sitting there and I actually understood what was going on. I could see the themes of Whitman. And Whitman is all about the miracle of what a human is. It doesn't matter if you're a mill worker or a mill owner or a great lady or a prostitute. No matter who you are, you are a miracle and you're beautiful. And I think there's no other better way of expressing that other than dance. Just to be in that environment really embellishes and strengthens my perception of dance, it strengthens my perception of Whitman, and you know, it's something that I've found is constant throughout most of my honors college classes, is the connections that the professors and the students bring into the curriculum. So I think this sort of thing has a very good shot at, uh, at continuing in their, their consciousness and uh, the kind of experience they'll leave college with that they want to replicate um, after college. Thank you, thank you, thank you.